there is a quote that you feature quite prominently on your website. It's from Steve Jobs. And the quote goes, uh, when you're a carpenter making a beautiful chest of drawers, you're not going to use a piece of plywood on the back, even though it faces the wall and nobody will ever see it. You'll know it's there. So you're going to make, you're going to use a beautiful piece of wood on the back for you to sleep well at night. The aesthetic and the quality has to be carried all the way through. So I just found it interesting that you feature this so prominently. Mm. I'm going to open by asking you uh, why this ode to aesthetics appeals so much. Right. Yes. Well, Jobs, I think, is making a point about one's personal values and integrity. And uh, the point is, if you are ambitious for your life, you want to accomplish something meaningful, significant. And then we start using all of these superlative value concepts, including beautiful. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the point that he is making is that for you, and this is the most important thing for you in your life to assess that what you have accomplished is meaningful, significant, and beautiful. You have to know that everything that you did fits your, your highest value standards. And so what he's warning against is uh, the, the easy way that people will often sell themselves out. And it's not primarily through uh, what they do with respect to other people, but with respect to their own values. Mm -hmm. They cut corners in their own lives. They, uh, they allow falsenesses and hypocrisy, hypocrisies and little lies to get into, into their own lives. And they, they don't do as well as they know that they could. And then you know, you're setting yourself up for a, a measure of disappointment mm -hmm. uh, and in some cases even guilt right over, right. over your life. So the, so the positive point is, and it's interesting because Jobs is a technology guy and we have this stereotype of people who are engineers that they're purely functionalist and they just want mm -hmm. to get the job done and they don't think about style and beauty and, and, and aesthetics right and so forth and the and the point is uh, that that's, that really is wrong it doesn't matter if you're an engineer or an artist or an athlete or a writer uh, make it beautiful yeah yeah it's it sounds a bit more more like it's an ode to authenticity above anything exactly. else because yeah. aesthetics can well primarily i mean just the epistemology of the word it is to to beauty to look at rather than um how that's been interpreted by you as a ode to almost authenticity right. but yeah jobs uh, just as like a credibility factor for how inherent our sort of um our appreciation of aesthetics is is that it, within the technology realm it is it was certainly um not a consideration how this looks. It was all about how functional is it? We were looking for the absolute highest efficiency of the product. Um, and then obviously job sacrificed a lot of efficiencies for the aesthetics and mm. Apple is now the biggest company in the world. So there is something to be said about uh, aesthetics has a, a, even in the technology realm, an extremely deep value. Mm, um, sure. But could you comment? Yeah, we find this in uh, in pretty much all areas. You know, you, if you if you appreciate uh, a building, a building can be purely functional. Mm -hmm. But uh, we all want homes, and we uh, we want to have our workplaces and even our larger in urban environment to be both functional and beautiful, and to have those integrated. Uh, I uh, am really have become recently uh, thought a lot more about my physical environment um, in, in terms of just interior design, but also appreciating the external design. And you'll see, I do have some questions on that as well later, but it's funny. You mentioned the architecture. I'm sitting here in a district in Stockholm called Södermalm, and it is just south of Gamla Stan, which is the old town of Stockholm. I'm, I'm sure you're right. familiar with Lovely. Stockholm. Lovely. Yes. Yeah. Um, and the beautiful old European beauty, it sort of feeds back a little bit into Sodomam, which is the island just to the south of it. But then in the uh, 70s and 80s, the government uh, initiated the Million uh, People Project, which was basically to build inhabitancy for a million people. And um, you know, link, link to like a, a purely from a functional standpoint, what they did was they knocked down a lot of beautiful old colorful buildings with pointy roofs with little French terraces because they mm. weren't so functional and they built quite literally, I can see it out my window here, just cement blocks um, yes. for streets and streets and blocks and blocks. And it is like, this is now an area that's purely um, offices, you know, like mm. you, it, it's, you want to come inside. The Scandinavians have a, a terrific interior design. So it's always nice to be inside, but like, 
when you're walking down the street, there is nothing that's drawing you to the park bench. Absolutely mm. nothing. It's dreary. Mm. And you can yeah. imagine in the winter, it's even worse. But then you go through Gunlistan, it could be cold as hell. You still want to sort of walk along the cobblestones and appreciate what's around you. I think that... That's right. Exactly. You know, yep. that's really what I think about when, it, when it's, um, you know, when aesthetics is mentioned, like physical beauty. Um, that's right. 